Hey there again, channel. I'm going to try another cook up again tonight. Uh, I'm going to try a slow cooked beef brisket with bourbon flavored barbecue sauce. Apparently, this one here, <clears throat> I'm going to put it in the tray and I'm going to wrap it with tin foil and leave it for 40 minutes. So, let's have a look. Show how it looks in the tray. So, as we do, so it doesn't stick too much, we've pre oiled the tray. And this is the contents of the package. That looks too promising, but we'll see how it goes. And the bourbon sauce. So I'm going to put that in the tray. Put the bourbon sauce all over it. We'll wrap it in foil. Leave it in the barbie for about 40 minutes. At about... Let's see there. Uh, 180 to 200 degrees. Uh, one. What's that there? For an oven. Preheat oven to 180, fan force 200, so we'll say Ziggy at around about 200. I'll show you how it looks in the tray. Yeah, to be honest, that does not look like a brisket to me, and it smells like dog shit. <laughs> Good work, Willies, but we'll put the, bur the bourbon sauce on. And I'm going to try some other stuff with this as well. So I've pre-oiled this as well. I want that bourbon sauce all over it. Bloody messy. Uh, this part here got a lot for this. Cooking made easy. And look at the bloody mess it makes. Yeah. Nice work, boys. Cooking made easy. <laughs> okay, so when I say I'm gonna I'm gonna add extra to it, we're going to add my favourite parsley flakes. Straight over the whole lot. That shake. Yeah, the camera case black now because I got the phone cover on here, and I still haven't used my my new tools, which I'm going to be doing that on the channel sometime soon. And we're going to use the leftover pineapple. So this is just to add a little bit of extra sweetness. Yeah, it doesn't mean that I'm going to actually eat these pineapple chunks when it's cooked. But I've got to use them somehow, so. What other way? Chuck them in the dish. Yeah, it was clunked the rest in there somewhere. Yep. Beautiful. That almost looks like it's ready to go. Alright, so next step is I'm going to put the tin foil over this. Okay, so. Should be a little bit tighter, but it's loosely wrapped in tin foil. And the Ziggy is at 200 degrees with full external heat. Oh, you feel that heat? Yeah, she needs a bath again, but ah, she looks well. So, I'm gonna put the dish in the barbie. It's actually indirect heat. Sorry. <laughs> and yeah. So we're going to cook this for 40 minutes indirect heat. I'm going to leave it as it is. I've pre oiled the tray, put the meat in there, put the sauce in there, spray more coconut oil on there, put the parsley on there, and the pineapple. So hopefully it's got a nice bit of spice to it. And the smell of it smells like dog shit, so hopefully it doesn't taste like shit. So there we go when it comes out. Yum yum. So, so Ziggy is sitting at 180 degrees. And this is sizzling away quite nicely. So what we're gonna do now is I'd usually just peel I'd usually just peel this away, but I really cannot be fucked. So I'm just gonna stab it. Oh, same punch. Is that same kind of way? Nice. So we're going to rip this right open. Oh look. Oh, oh yummy. You can see, I've actually, I've, I've given it a few turns. So the pineapple is actually soak, soaking into the marinade. And we're going to give these a flip. I didn't actually realise that there were three pieces there. And this is where, when Woolworths say, ah, oh, brisket, that 
they're not quite brisket. They're just decent hunks of meat. So a brisket usually you should just be able to split it. And that's been the barbecue for about a good 45 minutes at least. It said 40 minutes on the packet. That's still reasonably tough. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna rotate the meat. The pineapple looks really good. And it probably be really that would actually probably be really tasty, nice and sweet. So we're gonna rotate the meat. And we're gonna, oh, actually, uh, oh, sorry, actually some of it's starting to fall apart. Anyway, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna rotate the meat in the sauces. Now, the only thing is the Ziggy, where it's sitting, it's not level. Where it should actually be level. Because this is like a pool. Deep end's there, shallow end's there. But what we'll do is we will move the meat all the way down. Put the pineapple back over, because that seems to be working like a, um, like a blanket. <laughs> And we'll try and wrap half of that. And what I want to do is I want to leave that in the. Well, no, take away that. That it looks like a bloody duck or a bird or something. There you go, there. Alright, so what we're going to do, I'm going to leave that half covered for about another 10 more minutes and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to flip that again and then so yeah I'll flip that I'll leave for 10 minutes I'll flip that for another 10 more and then we're going to take it off because I don't want to overdo this cook yeah I'm not a fan of beef brisket uh, I've never tried brisket but I'm not really a fan of beef unless they're Beef burgers like back, 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 yum, yum, yum. But we'll see how we go. Oh, sorry, actually, I said 10 minutes. No, I go five minutes each side. Nah, fuck it. You guys will see when it comes up. Sweet. Ah, also, as well, closed lid, not open lid, closed lid. Keep the flavor locked in and the moisture. Need that moisture. Yum, yum. Right, yeah, so I flipped this two times. <clears throat> and, um, yeah. Pineapple, you can tell by the pineapple, the way that's just peeling. Um, yeah, I, I think what it comes down to, it's had a lot of heat, a lot of moisture. I think what Woolworths do and Coles, they just get the shittest, roughest cuts of meat. And they call it brisket now to me that's that's a steak that's not a brisket and that's yeah it's breaking apart it's soft you can see that um that's 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 breaking apart but in my eyes and please comment and share and subscribe and just tell me if that is brisket or shit cuts of steak because if they're trying to sell this as brisket, that's wrong. But anyway, you gotta try before you you gotta try. <clears throat> I say try before you buy, but you gotta try and buy. Let's take this spoil off. But um yeah, I'll give it a go. Let's see how it tastes. Should sure taste pretty good. Like there's a lot of flavour there, but nah. For what they what they're selling there, people are getting ripped off. This is um this is a joke. You can see the, the meat is nice and white, white to pink. So it's the medium rare. But you don't want rare in that because really you don't know what cuts you're getting. So it's, it's hard to predict. Hard to predict what you're going to be cooking. And on top of this as well, I've never done a so-called, so-called brisket. <laughs> Anyway, this is my version of a sweet 
marinated brisket on the Ziggy 3. So please like, share and subscribe. Leave me comments. And I'll show you the next hookup. Thanks for you on guys. Peace.